So, look, I don't want to gloat, but, you know, remember Teddy Zane? TBLT, TBLT. Well, TBLT just went down something like 25%. I think it's under $6 right now. Last I checked, I think it was like $5.78. Listen, man, I said it once. Look, I learned my lesson with Redbox. Could I tell you what happened to the eight fall the look? I'm going to admit the truth to you, okay? See, one thing about me is this. You might hate me and you might love me, but I am a man who admits when he makes a mistake. I got caught up in Redbox. I did. I said to myself, this is a garbage piece of shit company. This freaking thing is in Super Bowl kids. They rented out DVDs. It's like a freaking blockbuster in a Super, Super Bowl kid. I'm like, this is a piece of garbage company. But it's like I kept watching it go up, up. Up every, every single like day, it's up, up four dollar, five dollar, six dollar, seven dollars, eight dollars, nine dollars, ten dollars, eleven dollars, twelve dollars, thirteen dollars, fourteen dollars, fifteen dollars, sixty dollars. And just I just started to say to myself, there's a thousand percent short interest in this thing. This thing is really going to squeeze. Like, I was a hundred percent convinced, I have to be honest with you, that it was going to squeeze because I, it just it's a garbage company. It's a piece of shit red box in a supermarket that friggin' friggin' rents DVDs. I mean, talk about like a friggin' dying business. My God. You know what I mean? You might as well open up a store that says like a, you know, like a DVD repair or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like we repair. We repair right, Commodore 64s or something. I mean, listen, you might as well open a business like that, right? So the fact that Redbox was at 16, 17, 18, I said, nah, this, the shorts are so underwater right now. They're going to, they, they're going to get creamed. This thing's going to uh, 500 a share. Like I was convinced. I was 100% convinced and I jumped it. I jumped it with like 15,000. I think I threw I threw some money in around sixteen twenty five. I threw some money in at the seventeen range. Okay, and I watched my investment. I watched it go down so fast that I couldn't believe it. Like in one day, I think it went from eighteen dollars to like nine bucks. And you're seeing the same thing with uh, TBLT. Listen, the bottom line is this: only AMC and GameStop. That's the true Moez, AMC and GameStop, okay? There are, trust me. You, see, another thing is that you have to understand that this whole TBLT thing, it's just a quick pump and dump. A, AMC, they have been using synthetics with this thing for years and years and years. You have no idea how much efforts, it could be billions, hundreds of billions at this point that they're using. So it's only a matter of time when we get AMC to a point where there's going to be a forced margin call. This is going to be the true winner. Again, I am not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer, but that's it. Redbox was Redbox was my last FOMO buy, my last, you know, doing anything else besides AMC and GameStop. That's it. Look. I do have other holdings. I own I own gold. I own a very su substantial amount of gold. Okay, well over two hundred thousand. I have cash on hand, seventy five thousand. I'm using it for real estate investing. I'm saving it. Um, I own a house. You know, so I mean, you know, I have I have obviously just liquid ca cash that I use for food. You know, about two thousand a week. You know, just living expenses. It's just entertainment expenses. But you know, I'm not in, in terms of the stock market. For me, it's only AMC and GameStop. That's it. And whenever I have extra money, I'm going to buy... I have a ton of AMC, but I'm going to buy more AMC. I'm gonna, I don't have that much GameStop. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have that much GameStop, but I'm going to slowly build up my GameStop portfolio as well. But that's it. I don't see the point. But you see, look at what happened with TBLT. Everybody's like the stock market boy. Say it's going to... Five, what is it? 200000 a share. It's, on, it's under six. <laughs> it's... Listen, Ken Griffin... Is 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 you know as Lou says you know my devil is not gonna let this thing rip okay but at some point he's gonna get caught with his tail between his legs with AMC and GameStop because the thing is look AMC has millions you can't compare AMC to this piece of garbage TBLT listen AMC has millions millions of investors worldwide 
we're gonna get that mother Rafa Ken Griffin. He knows it. He knows. He knows it. He can't see. You know what TBLT is? It's a distraction. That's what all you meatballs don't understand. They want us out of AMC because AMC and GameStop, by the way, are the true Boazes. They're the true Boazes. So once in a while, they throw you these like distractions. See, it took me a while to learn this. Look, and I'm admitting to you, I'm admitting to you, I made a mistake. I made a mistake with Redbox. Thank God I got on my side. Okay, thank God. Thank God that I had a Tesla at the time, I had Tesla, I sold Tesla, I bought it 700, like, I don't remember how many shares I had, so like 72 shares. I sold it at around like 740. I had Amazon, okay, at like 2000. I made a nice profit on that, and I had UXIN, I made a nice profit on that. So I made back the money I lost with Redbox. I made it back, okay, with actually a little bit of profit. So, but then I said to myself, I came to the conclusion I'm only staying with AMC and GameStop, nothing else. That's just me, but see, the proof is in the pudding, just like my eight father special dessert, baby, which is uh, the sugar-free chocolate pudding with the extra, extra, extra Cool Whip and whipped cream. The proof is in the pudding. Look at where your uh, mighty TBLT is today. Teddy, Teddy Zane's uh, small, small balls are probably sweating in his uh, friggin' boxer shorts.